Grand Prairie ISD Superintendent Dr. Jorge Arandondo still has his job, at least for now. A Dallas County judge ruled yesterday that the district cannot fire him yet. Yeah, Trevor Sohaki joins us live outside of the district headquarters with more on what many are calling a plot twist. So, Trevor, do we know why the board wants to fire him yet? Well, Madison Carmen, we still don't have any specifics on what set this whole process in motion. All the board is saying is that Arredondo violated district policy and they're now investigating. So Arredondo is now suing the district for violating his contract. Last month, the board, the board voted to put Arredondo on paid leave pending an investigation without going into detail. They said he violated the district's policy around discrimination, harassment and retaliation against district employees. Arredondo had only been in the job for three months. His lawsuit says the board broke his contract by not giving him any notice nor explanation and violated his constitutional rights. He also accused the board of making discriminatory and defamatory statements against him, implying that he was favoring Hispanic students and staff, which he says is not true. That's the whole point of the lawsuit is to um, is to enforce those rights so that he has uh, fairness in the process, um, transparency in the process. And that's why we filed it. That's why we feel good about the restraining order being issued. And uh, we're hopeful that this will give the opportunity not only for him to defend himself, but for the district and the board to hit pause and think really hard about what is going on. Now, before the judge's temporary restraining order yesterday, the board was going to vote on Arredondo's employment tomorrow. Obviously, that can't happen now. We did reach out to the district for a comment on this lawsuit. They said they're still processing the information, and they'll get back to us later. Live in Grand Prairie, Trevor Sahaki, CBS News, Texas.